Um, oh yeah, people are celebrating. People are celebrating this Pride Month. This Pride Month. This Pride Month. This about all. Oh, all oh, love is love. Love is love. Love, love is all that. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you this: that there's nothing that God cannot set someone free of. They cannot set someone free. Someone cannot set someone free about pornography, masturbation, homosexuality. God can set you free from those sins if you're willing to accept the Lord Jesus Christ in your life and to change. Because repentance is not only a change. It's not only a change of. It's not only saying I repent to words. It's about true repentance. It's about coming from your heart. From your soul it's about tru truly trying to change to truly try to live live those sins and try to change be a better person because if i said i love god and i keep sinning then i mean that means i'm not truly trying to change if i'm staying in bondage to the thing if i'm not letting it go because the bible says the wages of sin is death so that's very powerful right there wages of sin is death death of what that because sin is death but the gift of eternal life is the Lord Jesus Christ I'm here to tell you to follow God, people to repent right now to get baptized in the Lord Jesus name to if anything would you have any grudge anything whatever is going on in your life I don't know your life personally I'm sure to Want, you know, tell you to repent, to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the best. Uh, that the gift, His gift is free for everybody to accept Him. To that, if you truly want to follow the Lord Jesus with your life, with your plan, His plans for your life, it will be the best decision you ever made. Um, God has a plan and purpose for you, but you gotta be willing to to accept the calling and to truly believe that you can do. Um, do his will it will take a process to do it um but i'm praying for everybody right now um, everybody i pray for everybody to accept the lord jesus christ to repent of their sins and i'm praying i ask the lord you know to because right now we're in the wicked last days of this wicked earth and i'm um, pleading with you guys to accept the lord jesus christ to turn away from wilful sin i know i was once uh bondage to pornography masturbation i was even bondage to many things in my past life many I have skeletons in my closet it's not like i never done anything I've done a lot of things and as you know that when i i pray that everybody repents of their sins that he done in their life and that you get born again because tomorrow is not promised to nobody and I pray that did you change your lifestyle. I pray that the Lord Jesus favors your life. I pray that you follow Jesus with your whole heart and your plans for their life, for your life. That you follow His will for the perfect. You know you're chosen by God, and it's the time to pick up your cross and follow Him. Regardless of what family thing, regardless of what people think, it's about following truly Jesus Christ for your life. About doing His will. About putting the work. Because Jesus loves you guys. Jesus loves you. He seeks that no man shall perish. But everybody shall have eternal life. God loves you. He don't wish you to go to hell. You don't have to go to hell. His gift of eternal life. is just salvation. Salvation. He's coming very soon. You see the signs. Rumors of wars. There be that earthquakes in diverse places. In Matthew 24. Jesus coming soon. I just pray that. I pray right now, Father God, that you bless every person that watches this video right now. I pray the Holy Spirit over them of any follower of God. I pray over every person that's going through a stressful situation. I pray that you bring them from that situation. That you bring them, that you bring assurance that you are the Lord, thy God, thy Father, Father God. I pray that you re remove the enemy's claws, whatever he has his pawns on upon their lives. Any financial problem, we break that curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we believe in the faith and assurance that you, Father God, you are the provider. You are the Yahweh. You are the Messiah. You are the way, the truth, and the life. 
Yes, Father God, we pray, Father God. I pray for every person right now, any person in bondage to their sins. I pray that you, Father God, you change them, you convict them of their sin, that they change their ways. I pray, Father God, that you change their lives, that there's nothing that you cannot do, Father God. I pray that you would change anybody that's homosexual today, that they be broken, those chains be broken today, of masturbation, of pornography, of lust. I command that all that stuff to go out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I ask you, Father God, to bless every person that watches. I push, I stretch my hand, Father God, and ask you that is you speaking through me right now, Father God. I pray that you are the one taking control of this life, of this video. I pray over every person, Holy Spirit. I pray peace, love, and sound of mind upon the lives, prosperity, Father God. I pray for prosperity for saint mind, wisdom, knowledge, revelation from you, Father God. We pray for love, love Father God. We pray for your peace from heaven above and stressful situations. We pray your fire over them, Holy Spirit. We pray that you will move in their lives in Jesus' mighty name, that you will change those hearts. I pray that these the seeds that are being planted right now, that you will water them and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And I pray that this video has blessed you and I pray that that you truly get born again. You get baptized in the Lord Jesus' name. And I truly pray that there's nothing that God cannot do, man. I was, I was born, I was bondage to pornography for masturbation for years. Now I'm, I don't even do that stuff anymore because I fear the Lord. I don't really want to do it anymore. I guess it's disgusting. And I pray that you get set free today because there's power in the name of Jesus. Amen.